Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ. Several people have asked me about notifications in JS8 Call. You saw my last video and the lady is saying, a station is calling CQ. Now the idea of that is I'm here doing whatever. The radio and computer all that are over there. I can't sit there watching the screen. If someone's calling CQ, I'd like to know. Now you can have notification. You can have a bell dingling or a car horn brr brr. But you've got to remember what each one means. <laughs> That's why I recorded this woman's voice. Now what I did, it's not, I was going to do my own voice. I thought, no, that's boring. So I went online. I found a program, text to voice. You know, you type in what you want. Then the lady or the man says it. I chose some, I don't know, Isabel or whoever she was, English. And I typed in, a station is calling CQ. She reads that out. I download it, okay, into my folder where I want to keep these things. I did add a little bit of echo to each one. I don't know why, it just sounds a bit better. In fact, sometimes I've, I've popped into the other room and my wife has said, there's some woman in your room calling out something about CQ. <laughs> yes, it's all right. It's not some woman in my room, in my shack, there's this. So if you want to do that, go to an online text to voice program, type in your text you want it to say, choose your lady or your man, okay, then download it um, and add a bit of echo if you want. Put them all into a folder. Let's have a look at the screen. You need to put your folder somewhere where you're going to keep your notifications. I've called it JS8 WAV, okay? If we go in there, here are the notifications. Now they're all WAV, WAV files. I read somewhere that they must be WAV, not MP3. I'm not sure about that, so I made them WAV. If I test one here. I'm receiving a call sign you have already worked. Okay, then you go to the JS8 screen, okay. And you want file, settings, notifications, and there we are. Now what you do here is let's just test one look a station is calling cq okay what you do here cq message received hb message received these are what you want to actually be notified about okay worked call sign heard so here i've got i'm receiving a call sign you have already worked let's just for example let's just clear the cq so there's nothing there right we want to select so we go to where your folder is, which is there, there, and you choose the call sign one, which is that one. Make sure it works, Let's enable it, make sure it works. A station is calling CQ. And when you've done that, that's it. You enable it here, look, and enable these. If you get fed up with one, in fact, the heartbeat one can be rather annoying so I'm going to disable that one there I don't want that it's it's annoying okay that and you're done I don't think there's much more to say about that I won't go into other settings uh, I've noticed online some videos are about an hour long and they go through the entire thing that's all very well but then you've got to find the bit you want so I think it's better to do it in bits. You know, one video about notifications. What's the video? Two or three minutes long. You know how to do the notifications in two or three minutes. You've got to search all through loads and loads of video and stuff to find what you want. Or then just to find it's not even there anyway, the bit you wanted. Enough waffle from me. Look out for new videos. Hope you enjoyed that one. Hope it's been helpful. And, <laughs> and be careful what sort of voice you choose. And we don't need swearing. Right, we don't any a station is calling CQ. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. 7-3 from the south coast of England.